So I am really excited about uh, military veterans getting involved in agriculture. I think it's a really great fit for a lot of reasons. I think military veterans especially have this need and this desire to put some type of positive healing back into the land and back into the community. I think most people that go into the military do that out of a desire for service, um, a desire to um, help out their community and their country. You know, as military veterans, we're always looking for that next mission. And with farming, I think that mission is to provide healthy food to our communities. Well, I guess, why do, why do we think veterans, uh, it's important to have veterans in farming? Because it gives them another area to look at, um, being a veteran, and uh, it just gives them another resource to go out and find a job or have a job and uh, to kind of um, get away from things, maybe. You know, instead of having a job that they're in, inside of an office or something like that, it's a different environment. From a spouse side of that, um, it's nice to have the soldier at home. But I think farming does a lot for military veterans. I think, I know from my personal experience, um, coming home was just really difficult, feeling so disconnected from the community because they don't really understand what you've been through in the last few years, what you've seen, what you've experienced. And uh, I think there's a disconnect from yourself. I think sometimes when you're in that high adrenaline, survival mode, um, you kind of have to shut off parts of yourself. And I think farming is a way to reconnect with that. So it seems that if they've got some PTSD or traumatic brain injury or something from their wartime service, uh, working in the soil, working with animals has a therapeutic effect. Being outside is therapy also. Some, some of them can't go back and work in an office. It's too claustrophobic. So farming is appealing to them. And uh, I've, I've talked to veteran farmers that say farming has saved them once they got out of the service. So uh, they've had a hard time adjusting back to civilian life and farming seems to be something that they can and have a desire to do. Uh, I think, uh, you know, a goal of the, the beginning farmer rancher program is to, is to help beginning farmers find the resources that they need and the advice that they need and uh, to be able to do what it is that they have a desire to do. And uh, this program, I think, is pushing them in the right direction, helping them, finding those networks, finding those sources of information are critical. Today we had our first veteran farm tour of the Beginning Farmer Rancher program at Purdue and uh, we had about 36 veterans and some spouses come to the program and this morning we had several presentations, financial opportunities for veterans and, and beginning farmers and right now we're doing an actual farm tour. We've divided up into three groups and they're touring Blue Yonder Organic Farm in North Salem, Indiana. In farming, people love to work together. I think they love to help each other, and it's really important to build that community. Um, just like in the military, you know, we relied on each other so much. Um, you know, it's all about taking care of your brother and um, helping each other, you know, through whatever you're going through. And in farming, it's the same way. And uh, there's a lot of people that want to help, so don't do it alone. <laughs>